Hello Gemini, welcome to Truth Well Told Tarot. This is your love reading for June 2020 for the sign of Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. I hope you're well Gemini. So I've tried a couple of times to do your readings. It's really uh, strong energy. Um, We have, and I feel, I do feel the, the Mercury retrograde here a bit too. So we have true love come to me. True love shall come to me as I do will, so mote it be. And we have peace. Bridget, goddess, in your sacred name, a light within me, peace is flame. Interesting. Okay, let's pull some more cards and see what else we get, Gemini. We have criticizing one another will only lead to unhappiness. Love and accept each other as you are in your relationship will mas magically transform and only time will tell. This is giving something time. Let's get the cards on the table, Gemini, and just carry on. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits, Guides, and Love. Angels, what's the message for Gemini in love, please? June 2020. Message for our lovely Geminis, please. Message for Gemini. Yeah, you have romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. I think there's somebody new that you feel something for here, Gemini. It could be the beginnings of a new relationship here too. Some of you may have already met somebody or in the early stages of a relationship. Or you might be actively pursuing one. Or hoping that somebody that you have your eye on will convert to a relationship. Interesting. I don't feel this criticizing one another is with somebody else. I think you're being highly critical on yourself. I think that you're feeling a little bit self-conscious here, maybe a little bit vulnerable. Okay. We have the Queen of Cups and the Page of Pentacles. Your challenge, the Queen of Swords. And the Eight of Cups is your outcome. Interesting. What do we have for Gemini, please? Angel Spirits Guides. Message for Gemini. Message for Gemini, please. What's the message for Gemini in love? Eight of Cups again. Queen of Swords is clarified by the Nine of Wands. And the Nine of Cups, you're walking towards happiness here. See? See that card? You're walking towards happiness. Six of Wands is victory. I'm going to pull an extra card for this Queen of Swords. What is this Queen of Swords for Gemini in love, please, Angel Spirits Guides? What is this Queen of Swords for Gemini in love card of Libra? What 
what is this queen of swords what is this queen of swords please eight of swords okay Gemini so I feel there's someone in your life that you have I mean there are these romantic feelings and you want a relationship with somebody and I think you're being hypercritical and very self-conscious here you know we become self-conscious sometimes because of whatever's gone on in the past this is about giving things time and space you can't force the issue things will happen in their own time but I do feel that there is somebody's getting their wishes coming true so this is a really good sign this month if there's somebody that you are looking to have a relationship with I do feel that for some of you that relationship is going to happen there is a victory here The Eight of Cups is appearing at the beginning and end of your relationship. So the Eight of Cups is somebody saying goodbye to something, walking away from something, something that hasn't been lived up to expectation or promise, hasn't lived up to their hopes, dreams and wishes. This is somebody walking away, finding a new hope, a new dream, a new vision. This is what this new person I feel represents to you. Some kind of new hope, new dream, new vision and you're walking away and this is, can be also emotionally moving on from just something that didn't live up to expectation just didn't turn out the way you thought it would and somebody actively makes the choice to move towards the missing cup which is the nine of cups getting your heart's desire being really happy in a relationship being real really fulfilled on every level and there's that kind of like deep soul connection it's Piscean energy here it's almost kind of like there wasn't that deep soul connection that you were looking for there is somebody maybe new we have the page some here something at its infancy maybe um, and there could be some kind of message of love or an offer of love or expressing love here cancerian energy queen, queen of cups can be male or female not the easiest person to read I would say as well you know those people that have mastery over their emotions aren't the easiest person to read here Gemini so I do feel for some of you this person I mean this can be a message or some news there could be or an offer so this could be maybe some and it's at its infancy it's at the very beginnings of something it's at the very the budding stage if you like I just feel with this eight of swords you you don't know how to spit to show your feelings you don't know how to express yourself or there's a, a feeling of inhibited thinking and I think it's coming from this self-consciousness Gemini I feel that I feel that there's just a real self-consciousness here Spirit is saying you know don't allow past experiences to stop oh there we are <laughs> don't allow past experiences to stop you speaking your truth to stop you from making decisions choices having the conversations even forming new relationships now because this is a Libra in energy the house of relationships so I do feel for some of you that there is you're so close to maybe getting to this new relationship but it's like something is blocking you and I feel it's your own mind how your mind plays tricks on you the perception of yourself maybe your self-consciousness here as well that is just getting in the way of you getting the communication going in a way Gemini you know the Jupiterian energy in this I think this is Jupiter in Gemini you know there's expansion growth good luck good fortune all around you but this person is because they're thinking in an inhibited way 
something like uh, something sometimes it's like the negativities of what could go wrong is stopping you actually from having the conversation here and this is about don't let fears stop you from from getting to where you want to be this can be about overcoming your fears your doubts your reservations you're so close so don't hold back now that's not for everybody is it like I said this doesn't resonate for everyone so it is if it resonates strongly for you because you might have said goodbye to somebody in the past I mean this could be years ago this could be weeks ago you know timing is fluid with these cards but where you're heading where you're heading is leading towards happiness fulfillment the dream come true the dream come true a wish coming true somebody that you have your eye on you the only thing that will stay here Gemini is a cautionary energy is you need to give somebody time you can't force this you can't jump in you know the page of Pentacles the Pentacles energy is slowly methodically focus your energies but this isn't all gung-ho this isn't a gushing energy this isn't a big shift this is just something that is very slow stable secure going at a steady pace you kind of get what I'm saying here to lead to this the nine of cups your hopes dreams and wishes your heart's desire six of wands I love this energy because ah uh, you know if you've had a difficulty of the past where you've walked away from a previous relationship of the past and there's somebody new that you've got romantic feelings for now there's a kind of feeling about you do need to make peace with what's gone don't let it influence you moving forward on this journey and that's a little bit of what the six of wands is all about overcoming what the past challenge was but I do feel for some of you that there is some kind of victory there is some kind of success recognition there could be you might be being recognized by somebody recognition that resonated quite strongly for me getting recognized by the person that you're interested in but don't over play your cards don't over push something don't be self-conscious self-critical because you know the other person will feel exactly the same way um, everybody at the beginning of a new relationship you know it might be news for people but I think everybody at the beginning of a new relationship is self-conscious is minding their P's and Q's you know and it is about just being who you truly are Jupiterian energy just let your true self your true fun loving energy shine through here don't let ifs and buts cloud your judgment in how you speak now how you express yourself and I do feel that there is some success here there is some success coming your way and I like the six of wands Gemini because it's the heart center of the tree of life something that the tarot is structured around so this is again getting your heart's desires beautiful energy opening your heart here maybe to somebody I'm going to pull a final card what's the final message please angel spirits guides this is a final message from the universe final message please for Gemini in love for June 2020 if they once loved you they still do thanks for every single time you ever fell in love whether or not it was obvious whether or not it lasted and whether or not you were loved back it changed everything actually you're always loved back this is about doing things from the heart Gemini I, I feel for some of you it is about doing things from the heart I had this for somebody else as well and there is a feeling of deservingness of love the self-consciousness that we sometimes feel because we think will they like me 
and there's a not, uh, it is about self-love here as well you know if other people have loved you in the past even if you if they haven't if there's a self-love here then of course there is always opportunity for new love Okay. Convince yourself, not others. That is it. And that's what I was feeling here. Convince yourself, not others. The need to clarify, explain, or justify oneself in personal relationships is always self-serving. What's important is about knowing the truth about why you felt the need. Because it often points to the insecurities that could be dealt with in more effective ways. You have some insecurities. I think it's coming over from the past. And, and I'm feeling this with this. Will they love me? You know, um, am I good enough? This is absolutely, a, and I'm feeling this is linked to that. It's just, do it from a place of love. Queen of Cups, do things from the heart, a place of love. And I think everything else takes care of itself, Gemini. I hope you enjoyed the reading. If you did, please do like, share and subscribe. I hope it's a wonderful month for you and I will see you next time. Thank you.